And thanks to a perfect storm of windy and dry weather the past week, high fire danger has remained top of mind across our area. Yeah, on today's red flag warning, uh, widespread once again. Meteorologist Alan Rose joins us in studio with more on this time of year and these red flag warnings. Is this unusual, Alan? Well, no, guys. Actually, based on recent data, spring is busy for us here in Southern Colorado. In April, in fact, the busiest month for those red flag warnings. Now, over the past 16 years, Colorado Springs has averaged close to five red flag warning days in the month of April. This year, we're already up to seven. March, April, and June, excuse me, see the most occurrences. The busiest April dates back to 2011. Another factor, as we know, that goes into high fire danger, a lack of rain or snowfall. And in the springs, we've only seen a trace of rainfall for the entire month so far. That was back on the third and no snowfall. Now, considering that April is typically our second snowiest month of the year, that's not good news. Pueblo, on the other hand, has picked up four tenths of an inch of rain this month, but no snow at the airport. Both areas were below average as we look back to April 2021. Now, looking ahead to tomorrow, I know Mike touched on this, but the southeastern plains will once again see critical fire weather conditions. And for the I-25 corridor, there is potential that that yellow shaded elevated risk could expand west towards the interstate thanks to another windy and dry afternoon. I know we've got that fire fatigue, but as Mike said, windy dry conditions continuing in your forecast. Fire weather watches, by the way, go back into effect starting at noon. We'll be back with more News 5 after this. So 